<laughs> hey! Hey, how's it going? Good, how are you? How's your day? It's pretty good. Oh, okay. How's your day? <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. So, before we dive into our gardening today, I just want to check in, see how you're doing. So I have a little check-in question for today, as always. Uh, so if you were a vegetable right now, what vegetable would you be and why? Okay, I think if I was a vegetable right now, I would probably be a turnip, because, you know, they get really cozy in the soil, and that's, that's a mood. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> if I were a vegetable right now, I think I'd be baby bok choy, because it's short and sweet, just like me. <laughs> I were a vegetable right now, I would be sugar snap peas because they're the vegetable I'm most excited about in the spring, and I feel pretty excited to be here right now. Nice. All right, let's do some gardening. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so we just wanted to give you a little taste of how we sometimes start our sessions in the garden at Reynolds Secondary School. And my name is Leah, and I work with Life Cycles Project Society in the Growing Schools program. And Growing Schools has been around for over 25 years. I've, I've heard it's one of the oldest school year gardening programs in Canada. And that program exists to build and maintain and animate schoolyard gardens and to really empower the next generation of food growers and food leaders. And I am, uh, I started working in the program uh, back in March. And uh, since then, so over the last nine months, we've had over 500 students come to participate in sessions in the garden. And I'm really excited because tonight we're going to hear from two of the students in this program uh, who are celebrating their story of being part of this project. And so before uh, I give the mic over to them, I just wanted to share a little moment, uh, a little short story from my experience of doing this work. So uh, last spring, I was working at Reynolds Secondary, and I think it was lunchtime. I didn't have any classes in the garden at that moment, but I was getting some trays of seeds ready to, uh, to sow. And a couple students came over to me and kind of just asked what I was doing and asked if they could help. And so, of course, I said, sure, I'm just sowing lettuce and uh, this is how we're going to do it. And I kind of did a little demonstration and explained what we were going to do. And then I uh, took the package of seeds and I asked one of the students to put her hand out. And I went and went to pour, and I poured some seed into the palm of her hand. And her face completely dropped. And she just looked at me and, and she said, you mean a lettuce? is going to grow from that? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, a lettuce is going to grow from that. And, and she just, she was like, but like, no, like a whole one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, like a whole one. Whole lettuce is going to grow from this seed that is the size of a fingernail. And I keep going back to this moment over and over because it just was so moving to me and I was almost in tears when it happened, just like witnessing her sense of wonder and amazement and being reminded myself like, wow, seeds actually grow into food. Like this is mind blowing. And it just is so important it made me realize how important it is to bring gardens to where young people already are. Yeah. And young people are in school. And it was this moment that I keep coming back to because that has completely transformed the way that that young person sees food and sees the world, really. 
and sees the natural world. And so I, yeah, I hold that moment really close to my heart when I'm doing this work. And I am excited to have you here from uh, two of our amazing students that have been part of the, pro the Growing Schools program at Reynolds. Um, we have Becca, who was part of an eight-week garden apprenticeship program that ran throughout the summer. And then we will hear from Sophie, who has uh, been part of our garden club this year and is actually getting credit for her work uh, in the school garden. So on that note, let's give it up for Becca. that feels like home, where the sounds, the feelings, the smells are just so familiar. Some place where you truly feel at peace. A place where no matter how long you are away from it, it welcomes you back with open arms. I have a few of these places. One is a very specific fallen log out in a forest outside of Nanaimo. A second is the farthest reaches of a rocky outcropping stretching into the ocean at Arbutus Cove. And a third is the Reynolds Courtyard Garden. This garden was one of the things that I was the most excited about when coming to the school in grade nine. And on the very first day that I set foot in Reynolds, my friends and I celebrated a birthday with cupcakes and balloons amid the blossoms. Since that day, I have been in the courtyard far too many times to count. Whether it be enjoying lunch with friends, working on school projects, learning how different herbs can affect my mental health, or simply getting my hands dirty. These experiences have influenced me in more ways than the obvious. Yes, I have gained practical gardening skills. For example, I know now that if you plant radishes too late in the summer, it gets too hot for them and they won't develop properly. But I have also gained confidence in my opinions, my problem solving abilities, and my leadership skills. I have gained knowledge from how to make all natural cosmetics to how to assemble an irrigation system. I learned about the different types of compost. Yes, there are multiple. <laughs> and how to properly plant a garden. I learned that some plants need more nutrients than others and how to cure blossom end rot. I discovered just how rewarding it can be to be the part of an entire process from hauling in the wheelbarrows of compost to planting the seeds to eagerly waiting for the purple turnip tops to peek through the soil. And after watching these seeds that we sowed grow into beautiful, productive plants, getting to take the results home, beans, tomatoes, zucchini, so much zucchini, <laughs> and making meals with them, food that I can proudly serve my friends and family and say, look, I grew this with these hands. And truly, what is more rewarding than that? My goal may have been to learn how to garden more efficiently, but I never could have imagined just how much more I would learn. Simple vegetables may have been the focus, but through this produce, this food, cultures were shared, connections were made, and growth took place in more than just the plants. My name is Sophie, and I'm in grade 10. I was first introduced to the Courtyard Garden at Reynolds when we were studying ecology, specifically sustainability and food security, last year in the Flexible Studies program. In the garden, we saw real examples of what we were learning about in the classroom. By growing and harvesting the vegetables from our garden and using them in our salad bar program, we practice a sustainable form of food security where everybody knows where their food comes from and sees it quite often every morning and benefits by eating healthy. This, I think, is my favorite part of gardening because of how much it can affect the greater community. I truly believe that my experiences in the garden have helped me establish new connections within the community by having fun through learning and through hands-on work. 
Aside from practicing my observational skills for field study work and examining the trees and the berries, I have also learned practical life skills, such as what Becca has already said, um, how to tend to a garden bed, how to plant seedlings or seeds in neat, organized rows so that it's easier for harvesting afterwards, and when to harvest the crops at their freshest. Just being in the garden has also had a noticeable effect and positive impact on my overall health. The clean, crisp air always clears my lungs after a long week of school, while being outside and enjoying the garden also helps me to really de-stress. As you can tell, it's very therapeutic and easy for me to talk about. I always look forward to going to garden club at the end of every week because I get to see friends and meet new students who are also interested in gardening. I never find it difficult to work in the courtyard garden because we always work as a team and there's always someone happy to help if you need it. You just gotta ask. Just how just like how in any ecosystem or biome, everything and everyone works interdependently in harmony with each other. As a school, as a school who is a firm believer in taking action through green, eco-centered initiatives, we support our school and the greater community as well as improve the health of the planet together. Whether that be recycling or helping out in the garden, we also influence other BC schools by promoting and leading the way for healthy food and heating eating habits with our salad bar program. Thank you for your time. Thank you.